I just watched The Creator, a new movie by Gareth Edwards, the director behind Star Wars Rogue One and the 2014 Godzilla movie. It stars John David Washington, Gemma Chan, and Madeline Juan Voiles. It's a showcase of what a world that sees a perpetual war between humanity and artificial intelligence could be like. And I'm here to tell you, do not sleep on this movie. Grab a seat because this is my spoiler-free review. I've been so impressed with the roles that John David Washington chooses for himself for a while now. And you could definitely add this to the list of the ones that he's crushed. His character Joshua's pain and anguish and uh, urgency and loss all come through so well in his performance here. Gemma Chan did a great job here too. Her character Maya was Joshua's muse. She was calm and elusive while still being powerful at the same time. And I hope we see a lot more from Gemma Chan here soon in future roles. And there was a lot of great acting and world building from the other supporting cast members here. And just like any other topic that's in the public zeitgeist, with AI, we get to see the points of view of lots of different types of characters in this. And this is the most well put together movie that I've seen in a while. Any use they had of the volume or green screen wasn't super obvious, unlike a lot of other recent special effects movies that I've seen. I'm looking at you, Expendables 4. And it seemed like every set piece was beautiful and majestic, even the way they did the robots and simulants. There was a huge war spaceship that was just looming in the background, kind of like a moon throughout the entire movie. And this was basically a war movie that didn't really glamorize that fact with battles that waged across years and years. The weapons seemed like they were doing real damage to people, even though they were just blasters. All the vehicles were really cool. And my only real gripe was just with the robots. Their movement seemed really organic as opposed to being slightly robotic and that could have been an intentional choice by the filmmakers so it's really not that big of a deal i love how the story unraveled here there were twists and turns and changes of allegiance i'm not sure if the filmmakers intended the ai that's presented here to be a commentary on the generative ai that is a hot topic amongst business and creative professionals currently. I guess it works if you think about it from that perspective, but these could easily be your typical run of the mill sentient robots that we see in lots of different kinds of movies. It's funny that in the year of AI, we have two top shelf action movies that center their stories around it in this and the new Mission Impossible movie. The dynamic between the Joshua and Maya characters provided the emotional backdrop to guide us through the story. I saw the ending coming a mile away, but that doesn't make it any less perfect. I'm kind of upset that this movie didn't seem to be promoted as well as it should have been. This is the type of stuff that people should be excited to go to the movies to see, and I'm just not feeling that much excitement coming from the community currently. Stuff like this deserves to get the same kind of love that the Avatar movies got, but it's only tracking to do 16 to 19 million in its opening weekend, which is partly due to the new Saw movie coming out, but still, if I wasn't as big of a movie nerd as I am, I'm not even sure I would know this movie was coming. But with that said, I do love a lot of the posters and key art that has been created for this movie. Check out this one by designer Matt Ferguson. The creator is truly up there with the great special effects movies that have come out over the past couple years. With a great director that has a real vision, great stars, great action, effects, cinematography, and acting. If this movie isn't worth going to check out, then I don't know what is. So let me know if you're going to see this in the comments, or if you already did, let me know what you thought of it. Follow my channel on TikTok or YouTube for more content like this.